Hi folks, I'm Rob. Nathan is inside getting a cup of coffee because it's minus eight degrees out, but we wanted to introduce you to the 2019 Honda Ridgeline. Now, if you If you'll see on the front end, it features multi-reflector, high beam halogen headlights with available LED fog lights and LED low beam headlights. Starting at $29,990 all the way up to $43,420 for the top of the line black edition. All Ridgevines feature the 18 inch tire and wheel combination. They have Today, we're with our friends at Luther Mankato Honda reviewing one of their fine Honda vehicles. They have the turn signal indicators on the inside of the mirrors, and they're available as a crew cab only. Four-door crew cab only with independent suspension, 7.28 inches of ground clearance, four-wheel independent suspension, by the way. To lock or unlock the vehicle, simply push the black button to lock it, push it and hold it, and it will unlock the vehicle. Okay, so I wanted to show you the tailgate. It opens up like a standard pickup truck. It pulls right down. And again, you can see a nice flat load floor. Now the bed of this truck is made from a polymer scratch resistant plastic. So you can actually use your bed without your bed looking used. Okay, show you the feature of the tailgate real quick. Show you the multi-angle rear view camera. But the magic tailgate, put your hand right under. And there's the latch. Tailgate opens up sideways. And then it allows you access to the underbed storage. And that's accessible here. You can lock it. But if you see, you've got your spare tire and your jack. And you've got an extremely deep cavernous area there. And it looks like you've even got areas where you can uh, put in dividers. And what I like too, so if you're getting bags and you're getting groceries or anything, you wanted to hide something in here, this has a little lip on it. You can hang a bag over that and it'll keep it secure, keep it from rolling around. And if you'll notice, there is a drain plug. So you could actually, if you're tailgating, use this as one big giant cooler. Really nice, really nice feature. I absolutely love this. And you can see the LED bed lights. Got access panels and real quick sliding rear window on this vehicle as well. But there's the tailgate. Show you what it looks like again. It's all closed up. There it is. I really like the styling of the vehicle. There are uh, LED tail lights. You got a nice step cut out in the bumper, nice little bit of chrome strip on it. And you can see one of the neat features that I really like it's not really functional, it's there for aesthetics only is the line along between the bed and the cab of the truck makes it look like a standard pickup truck however this is unit body construction so that is all one piece construction there i really like the chrome trim around the windows and you can see it does also have a sunroof overall very nice compilation of styles and design for the honda Ridgeline. It is a great looking vehicle. Honda's done an extremely nice job with putting this vehicle together. Difference from the preceding model that had the huge flying buttress on the back where the uh, body panel was all one side, but I think they've done an excellent job with making this look more like a traditional standard pickup truck. All right, so here's the key fob for the 2019 Honda Ridgeline. And, uh, in order to, this does have a remote start on it. So if I push the lock twice and then I just press and hold here, the truck will start up. Okay, there it's running. Okay, to uh, cancel that, you just simply press and hold on the hold button again. And the truck turns off. Here we are on the inside of the 2019 Honda Ridgeline. This is the RTL-E trim line, and this thing is loaded. So let's go over a few of these features. First of all, I'll just talk about the, the fit and the finish. 
I love the, the soft plastics on the door. I really like this dark uh, trim piece in here along with the silver accented door handle. Uh, and then you have uh, your standard door uh, windows, controls, and your locks. Okay. Down here you have your fuel filler release. And then coming up down here, um, you have a lot of controls for turning on and off your uh, safety features. Now these belong to the Honda Sensing Group. So you've got um, lane departure, a road departure uh, mitigation. You've got collision mitigation. You have got traction control. Um, and you then up in, and it continues up in here where you have a lane keeping assist system um, as well as a lane departure system. Um, coming up here, you've got a nice, again, soft touch dashboard. All the materials look really nice. Uh, the nice quality. Um, I like the dark trim. Okay. All right. So now, uh, along with this beautiful 8-inch display, um, let's talk for a minute about the backup camera. Rob had already mentioned that it's a, a multi-angle view. So we're going to demonstrate that. So I got my foot in the brake. I'm just going to put it in reverse. And here are your three angle settings right on your screen. So if you want, this is like the full wide view. If you want a little more narrow view, you can go here. And then if you want a really close up, like for your hitch, there you can go there. Okay. Now the other thing, this is called a dynamic rear view camera system, which simply means as I turn my wheel, the lines bend. That is a nice feature. I like that. Here you have your typical climate control setup. You've got a sync button that'll keep both sides, uh, all three zones, excuse me, together at the same temperature so the driver can raise and lower them. Or if you take the sync off, then the passenger can raise or lower their temperature. And right here is the rear temperature. So you click that in there, and now you can raise or lower the temperature back there as well as control the fan individually their own fan back there get out of rear settings put it back in the seat everything goes back to 72 down here you've got your standard uh, defrosters front and rear your on and off your air conditioning and your auto climate it does come with uh two level uh, heated seats uh the seats are really nice they've got a nice leather covering with a perforated leather center all right up here um underneath the sort of the center part of the console you've got an audio input a uh, usb That'll connect to your phone, uh, and then you can access features like uh, Apple CarPlay or the Android Auto System. You've also got a 12-volt plug-in right there. You've got a nice area to rest your phone in. It's a rubberized non-skid mat, which really hangs on to your phone well. You've also got a little cubby hole right here. Then, moving back, you got your cup holders, which I know you can't see in this particular light, but they are illuminated illuminated in blue. Alright, and talking about the seats here, the armrests are, are really unique. I like these. They come down and there's seemingly kind of no give or stop on them. So, but what all you have to do is push it down all the way. And then as you're sitting there with your arm on it, simply bring it back up to the level that you want, and voila. It won't go down anymore. Right? Uh, over here, you have your intelligent traction control management system. So if you click on it in all-wheel drive, you get normal snow, mud, or sand conditions that you can automatically put the vehicle in. Okay? The shift over here on the left side of the shift is your overdrive lockout. All right, so let's talk a little bit about the steering wheel. It's leather-wrapped. You've got a leather-wrapped shift knob. Um, and then uh, you also have a heated uh, uh, steering wheel. There, the button to turn it on and off is right down below the center button here. Uh, the steering wheel also has a manual tilt and telescope function. So right down here is the button. You just push it down to loosen it up, and then you can, of course, lower or raise the steering wheel, as well as manually telescope it. Here in the back of the Honda Ridgeline, if you, there's a little lever on each the side of each of the seats, and I'll show from this side, but you just clip it up, pull the seat up, give it a firm push, and it holds. Okay, and 
then to bring it down, same thing, you just grab the same handle, that releases it, the legs will come down, and then they go into these little clips in the track to hold them securely, so once you get them down, you wanna give them a little push, and they lock into place. All right, now, so I'm sitting in the back of the Honda Ridgeline, and um, I'm five foot 11 and a half, and I have plenty of head space. There's not even, a, a, even going left to right where sometimes the doors come down, not touching anything. I've got uh, inches worth of knee clearance from my knees to the seat, and it's a very comfortable feel back here. You, the leather continues along with the perforated inserts, and then you have your two uh, air vents back here, which are individually controllable as far as direction. And then at the very bottom, you've got two charging USB ports. You also have two nice seat pockets back here. In addition to the powered moonroof, this truck also comes with a powered rear sliding window. Standard on the RTL-E and the Black Edition trim levels, is a 540 watt sound system with eight speakers. Now the lower trim models come with seven speakers. I have a suspicion that the eighth has something to do with the sound in the truck bed, but not sure about that. But again, a 540 watt sound system. And All right, so over here on the eight inch display screen, um, there are apps that you can add to this, um, but right now we're just gonna take a look at the ones that are here. Um, you've got your basic navigation, and then you just press home to go back. You can connect your phone. This would be for use when you use it for talking and texting and that kind of stuff, which is really nice because it pulls up your, your phone's information and all its call history and all that kind of stuff. Um, over here, you just get basic info, like your latest trip computer, voice, info, um, voice information. You could set a wallpaper or a clock. Okay, um, go back here. Here's where you would set the, uh, the Bluetooth for the audio. You would click on there to set your phone. All right, I don't know where I've heard that music before, Rob. Sounds familiar. So there, there I went through Bluetooth. So you can completely run your phone via Bluetooth. However, um, if you have the audio plug-in down here, if I just take and plug my phone in, I'll show you here. This turns to Apple CarPlay. Okay. If I click on it, now I have um, all these things that I can do. I can control everything from the vehicle controls, from the screen, instead of going to my phone. So I can actually take my phone and shut it off. So let's say I want to use Google Maps instead of the car built-in navigation. That's easy. I just pull up Google Maps off my phone. Okay. Um, and here I can re even rearrange the order of the icons. Um, there's a t just a ton of stuff to go on that you can adjust in here that I don't have time for um, to discuss. But anyways, that's where it is, and that's Apple CarPlay. So in the truck here, all I have to do is click this to on, and now the truck bed audio is on. So if I... Go back to my phone, which I was playing earlier. The Ridgeline is designed to take you places you've never seen. Its power and agility will turn any trip into an adventure. Is the Ridgeline the right truck for you? Let's find out. Let's take a ride. All right, so here we are in the 2019 Honda Ridgeline out for a test drive. <laughs> you know, Nathan, if you put me in a blindfold and set me inside this vehicle and told me that we were riding in a pickup truck, I would not believe you. If, if, if I were to take the blindfold off and take a look around, I would swear I was either in a very nice car or in an extremely nice SUV. This is a great ride. It is very, I, I agree with you. It's way too comfortable for, to, to make you think that it's a pickup, yet it is. Yeah, I like the, I, I love the feel of that heat is turning wheel. Boy, is that ever nice. 
blind spot warnings are really nice. You see them on the ones that are on the inside of the mirror. Those show up without any problem out of your side view. The seats, I, I, I spent a little bit of time adjusting my seat, but boy, is it comfortable. These are very nice. And you know, you're hitting the little ridge strips in the highway <clears throat> and this car is just absorbing those bumps easily. How's oh. the handling? Oh, I love this. Now, what? Oh. <laughs> oh, I just experienced something. You remember that lane keeping assist system? Yes. <laughs> I like. Watch this. Hang on. See that? Didn't even touch it. It showed that line and it brought me back over. Oh, that's Isn't that something? <laughs> that's just, that's wickedly cool. That is very cool. It's graphic. It flashes the line that you're crossing. And it vibrates the wheel and it turns the wheel for you. So it gave you a little tug on the wheel and actually... Oh, it vibrated. I knew. Over into the yes. Lane. Oh, okay. Gotcha. Fantastic. Oh, that is awesome. That's really cool. No, I, I, I like this. Um, the, the, I, the pickup on it is really nice. I love... Uh, Was that a pun? Yeah. No. <laughs> um, the... Uh, you can't see it right now. Maybe you saw it in the, in the previous video when I showed you the dashboard. But the more economically you drive, you get green LEDs that come around your your gauges, your cluster there. And uh, the it seems to me the brighter they are, the more intense they are, the better or the more economical you're driving. So it's very, very visual, very easy to see. And that's green? That is green. So your goal is to keep it red? My, see, yeah, when I accelerate this, you can see, you see that the lines are green. As I accelerate, they turn sort of a purplish. Don't know if you can pick up on the sound of the engine and the exhaust note. In it here. has a nice sound. It, it has just enough sound to let you know you've got a lot of power under there. And that is a 280 horsepower uh, motor, V6. Uh, the same that you'll find in the uh, Pilot, the same that you'll find in uh, many of the Acura vehicles as well. And it's got great torque. I think it's 260 or 262 foot-pound of torque. And it's rated oh, extremely well. And now you've got your lane departure warning. That's, yeah, that's so I just, I just, I'm not going to show you this one, but you know how the other, on the video, the dashboard, the left line lit up? When I, when I let the vehicle drift just a little bit close to the right line, it did the same thing. The right line, the right line started to flash at me in orange instead of white, and the, the steering wheel vibrated, and it pulled me. I like that. Again, yeah. this is a part of the Honda Sensing Safety Suite. Yeah, they have, uh, they've got the collision mitigation braking system, the road yeah. departure mitigation system. The adaptive cruise control, which we're not able to show you here. We don't have any one in front of us, and really I would think that would be more for a highway use. And then they have the lane keeping assistant. Okay, and we're gonna try it. we're gonna try that one. Look, look look at it, Rob. Well that's your regular uh cruise no. control, but that wouldn't be adaptive. No, no. Is I have I have lane keeping assist. This keeps me in the center of my lane as much as possible. Look at this. Wow. It's almost like automatic driving. Okay, uh, it's telling you to put your hand back on the steering wheel. Yeah, okay. it's telling me, yes. Please, I'm telling you to put I your am. hand back on the steering wheel. There we wheel. go. We're back on. But that is really cool. I just want to see what it would do. But it kept the vehicle within the lanes. And even with it on at this point, if I get too close to the right-hand side of the lane, then it starts to beep at me. It starts to, or, uh, starts to flash at me, excuse me. So all this technology is built into a pickup truck. Yeah, it's just an amazing suite of safety features. A pickup truck that can go to the home improvement store on the weekends and pick up mulch or a new washing machine or uh, tow a boat or pull a small camper. Actually, the uh, towing capacity on the front wheel drive versions is 3,000 pounds and on the all wheel drive version, Which this you is. have a tow capacity. This is the all wheel drive version. You have a tow capacity rating of 5,000 pounds. All right, here we are back in the car again. Rob is now driving. Okay, my turn here, and let's see what we got. Boy, oh boy, the steering on this thing is so light as well. Mm -hmm. And uh, here we go. I'm going to take off, see what kind of... Uh... Oh, 
Oh. Oh my gosh. <laughs> wow. That's quick. And we're 60. Woo. Yeah, 280 horsepower, 262 foot-pound of torque. Yeah, this thing will get up and Puts go. Right, right. And yeah. again, wow. Nathan, I want this vehicle. I know, it's nice. It is. Right. It, I, I love creature comforts, and this thing is loaded uh, with those. And then I love the safety features. I, I've, I've, I've never driven a vehicle with so many safety features on it. Oh, it's and, telling uh, me. I, I went over the white line a little yep. bit, and it's telling me, hey, pay attention to what you're doing here. It does. Oh, wow. The heated seat feels so nice. Isn't that nice? Do you uh, have the heated wheel I on? don't. I'm going to turn the steering wheel on because I absolutely love that. And being here in Minnesota where we're at, that is a nice oh. addition. I tell you what, you know, in, in, after looking at this car and doing a review on it, some of the things that I would look for on my next vehicle would be those that Honda sensing system mm -hmm. with just all the you know all those safety features. Okay. Oh, hold on. I didn't mean sorry, but I just want to let you know the steering wheel is warm already. That was fast. It is fast. Why do you think I was holding on to it the entire time we were filming? It's got my hands warm. <laughs> this lovely weather. Although today is nice in Minnesota. It is a balmy, what, 34, 35 degrees? 36 is showing. Oh! Yeah. Wow. Should have brought my shorts. This is something. To, and to think that, again, it, it, it's all-wheel drive. It rides extremely well. It can tow 5,000 pounds on the all-wheel drive uh, version. Uh, this is the uh, top-level trim. And the ride is amazingly smooth for a pickup truck. I've got a vehicle behind me, so I don't really want to do. I think I'll let him try to get by because, oh, you know, this little na lane keeping nanny lets you know even when you're just scooting from one lane to the other, uh, unless you give it the turn signal, and it yeah. lets you know you actually mean to turn. So I'm going to try the brakes real quick. So hold on, Nathan. Ooh! Uh, yeah, that was fast. I don't want to stop too long because we are on a street good. with more cars coming. I think we'd stop in time. Straight, steady pull, not pulling to the left or right. Uh, you know, it's analog brakes, so it'll stop you securely. Uh, even on uh, slick roads uh, that we typically have here in Minnesota, or even where you're at with rain and snow. Yeah, it is, it's supposed to cancel when you use the turn signal. Now this, on the turn signals here, this has what's called a one touch as well. So if you just tap, say tap left, so down on your turn signal, it will give you three clicks. Oh, okay. I believe it's three. And then it will cancel itself. And if, of course, you want it to stay on, you just give it a, a firm push down until it clicks. Okay, well, I'm going to have to turn off this heated wheel. It's gotten very hot, <laughs> which I'm sure, like it was a few days ago, minus 20, this would have felt fantastic. Yeah, It's nice that it heats up fast, and the wow. heated seats are really nice, too. All right, so here we are in the 2019 Honda Ridgeline out for a test drive. <laughs> we may never bring it back. Yeah, yeah. Sorry, that's a side note. Cut that out. <laughs> Cut here. <laughs> Editor's instructions insert I'll here. be spending today just... The front of the Honda Ridgeline features multi-reflector headlights, high beam, and then also... Uh, nice soft plastics. We've got a, I love this uh, dark trim along with a silver door handle. I know what it is. Microphone. 